Hi, this particular video is question one of the practice questions on dealing with 3D Pythagoras. Now if you ever look at the uh, cheat sheet it will also give you uh, just a few pointers that what I'm basically suggesting is that with these types of questions you're going to be dealing with Pythagoras twice because what it's asking us to do is to work out a G. So if you can imagine that A G is made up of a triangle that looks like that. So if I just kind of draw that out for you, what you've got is um, A and G, and then along here we've got A to C and then C to G. Well, I'm okay with C to G because that's three centimeters. That's what it tells me on the actual drawing itself. So I know the height is three centimeters and that's fine. The difficulty I've got here is I need to know what A to C is in order to calculate the uh, dimension for AG. Well, hopefully you can see on the video that there's also another right angle triangle here which is at the bottom of the box where AC is the hypotenuse of that triangle. So I'm just going to draw this out. I'll do my best to kind of recreate it. Um, what I'll do is if I draw it upright like that, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see that this is A and C. Now this dimension here is AB, which is five centimeters and then we've got BC which is seven centimeters that's brilliant it gives us the ability then to work out AC and then just simply plug that information into the top triangle that I'm using to calculate so uh, let's have a look at Pythagoras we've got AC squared equals five squared plus seven squared well that's going to give me a c squared equals 74. now you could go ahead if you wanted to and just calculate that out and it works out at something or other 8.6023252 but my suggestion is you leave it as a c squared because when we're working out this top calculation here we've got a g squared equals a c squared plus c g squared okay so we've already got a c squared we've, we've worked that out as 74 so i can plug that straight in and then i've got c g squared well c g 3 squared is 9 okay so in other words a g squared which is what they're asking us to calculate is going to be uh, 74 plus 9 which is 83 so therefore AG on its own is going to be the root of 83 and if you plug that into your calculator you'll get something like 9.1104 so to answer the question to three significant figures that's going to be 9.11 um, I hope that's okay for you it is a little bit difficult to represent on video but hopefully you can see that really you're doing Pythagoras twice with these um, once to actually get this bottom dimension here which is this one here that will allow you then to calculate this which is the answer that they're looking for